What is good everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel here at The Dad Life. Hope everyone is having an amazing day today. In today's video, it's gonna be a little bit of a different video. As you guys can see from the title, I'm going to compare my early pair of the Yeezy 350 V2 in the Zion colorway to an actual retail pair. I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. Some of you guys have been asking me where I get my early pairs of my Yeezys. I pretty much go on Go. Before we actually get into it, make sure if you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the love and support. And make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button because it really helps the channel grow. Now, so like I said, I got these from the Goat app. I don't have the box on me because I actually moved to San Diego for a couple months. So it is back at home, which is unfortunate because I should have brought the box so I could compare it to the actual retail pair. But like I said, let's go ahead and get to this unboxing from Yeezy Supplies. Just kind of recapping with this release. So this was definitely a hard shoe to get online it seemed like this was a really limited shoe like honestly the bots were eating all of the pairs on all foot size like foot locker jd sports foot action and etc man this was definitely a hard shoe to get and in my opinion like i was i was really lucky to get through on easy supply like i said shout outs to cooking essential if you guys don't know man the cook group we cooked over like 85 pairs of zion so hey if you guys want to join the cook group like i said that will be linked down below in the description box as you guys can see a 350 v2 boost box nothing too special in the box the code says fz1267 zion 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 in a size 8 and the one pair that I got from GOAT is a size 8, so it actually makes it a lot more easier to compare the retail pair to the um, one I got from GOAT. Like I said, I forgot the box at home, so I'm going to be comparing these shoes together. So, boom, man. Oh, goodness. A fresh pair of Yeezy 350 V2 Zions. Boom, as you guys can see, it comes with the tag right there and then it comes with an extra card right here from Yeezy Supply. I've never seen this card before from Yeezy Supply so this one is definitely new. Um, let's go ahead and bring out the other one. This is the retail pair right here and this one is the early pair from the Godot. Let's not get this confused so I'll just grab one of each. So on my left side is going to be the Godot um, pair and the right side will be the actual retail pair. So um, as you guys can see from the camera, I'm not sure if that's going to pick up on your guys' end. So like I said, this is the retail pair. And then this one is the early pair from the GOAT that's on top. So um, let me go ahead and just look at them real quick, just comparing them. Um, so the first thing that I like to do um, when it comes to comparing, you know, either whether it's fakes or reels, I always look at the boost. Um, as you guys know, this one's kind of warm, but you could just tell by feeling the boost, um, the comparison, um, and as well as some of the little details that you see on the boost um, definitely is a dead giveaway. I guess this could be a little tips of how you could um, spot fakes. Honestly, there is many, many tips and different ways to find fakes on 350 V2s. Another trick is just smelling it. Like I said, this is definitely worn and you can't really, <laughs> I can't really know the difference because I've worn this a few times. Another thing on these 350 V2s is definitely the stitching. The stitching is the main part on this as well. Another one, uh, so let me look at the dates. Like I said, this is the Godot pair um, right here. So it says, 0320 and the easy supply one says 0320 on the dates on the sizing tag so um, definitely look at the art number as well because sometimes the art numbers on the fakes are definitely not consistent when it comes to fakes and reels so and as well as you can look at the apc number that's on there as well because sometimes on the fakes they definitely just put some random numbers on there but it looks like these um are definitely the same uh, another thing is you could compare the insoles 
the insoles is definitely a dead giveaway um, so as you guys can see there is numbers on the side of the insoles that you could definitely um, compare and just like the small details on the insoles you could definitely compare as well so as you guys can see um, let me not get this confused so this one right here is the go dot pair and this one is the retail pair as you guys can see like I said insoles are definitely something that you would want to compare because um, that is another giveaway when it comes to looking at fakes and reels. This one right here, this one right here is the Goat app, and then this one is the retail pair because I just flipped them around. The one thing that I feel like with Adidas that they really missed on is the um, inconsistency of the stripe because some of the sizing, depending on the size, sometimes the stripe could come all the way down here and sometimes it could be like right here where it's at right now. Cause I've seen, I've seen multiple retail pairs where like the, the spacing between the tip of the toe of the shoe and the stripe right here is just the gap is like inconsistent so just depending on the size like i said this is both a size eight and it honestly looks good when it comes to the spacing but i feel like i should do another comparison with multiple retail pairs so i can let you show you guys what i'm talking about so as you guys can see this is right here is the retail pair and then the goat app right here the goat app pair right here so see sometimes on the fakes when it comes to the bottom of the soles, like the soles could be two different colors. As you guys can see, this one here is the goat app pair, and then the one on the bottom is the retail pair. Like I said, I've worn mine a handful of times, so you're gonna see a little bit of dirt. So as you guys can see, the color of both of them look exactly the same. When it comes to a fake, sometimes the sole could be a different color if it has this yellowish color tint to it. So. You want to look at that and like i said just feeling on the boost like is like the number one thing because sometimes on the fakes like you just get a really really hard boost it's not even boost it's just like a hard rubber on the sole um, versus like this this is actually boost both of them are actual boost if this definitely helped with you guys um, let me know in the comment section below i really wanted to push this video out for you guys just to give you guys some tips and tricks how you could spot fakes when it comes to 350 v2s because there's so many fakes out there and you just got to be careful because a lot of the fakes out there are so so close knowing and really educating yourself with the little details when it comes to the 350 v2 definitely definitely helps with the spacing the stitching the sizing tag that's inside the shoe the boost um, everything that comes with it, the insoles, every single detail really counts. So you guys really want to look at that before you buy stuff online, mainly like locally, um, Facebook, Instagram, and whatnot, and etc. So, um, like I said, I'm always trusting Goat. Goat is always 100% legit when it comes to early pairs. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. That's just my personal opinion, and letting you guys know that I do buy some of my early pairs of Yeezys on the goat app a lot of big youtubers do it all the time so it's nothing new here so like i said let me know in the comment section below if you guys cop the 350 v2 in the zion colorway like i said this is already sold to my home girl d reed so d reed if you are watching this this pair is coming your way tomorrow so like i said um uh, that is pretty much it for the video if you guys enjoyed this make sure you guys smash that like button It really really helps the channel grow and if you're new here Please consider subscribing to the channel because we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers I appreciate all the love and support you guys been giving me like I said as always guys stay blessed stay healthy and make sure you guys wash your hands This is the dad life signing in signing out peace